So let's take a closer look at Bronsted-Lowry acids. You will recall from the video that a Bronsted-Lowry acid is a proton donor. And this is the one we looked at in the video where hydrochloric acid donated its proton to the electrons on the water to form the hydronium ion and the chloride ion. So this was the one that donated, so it's an acid. Water is the one that accepted, so it's a base. So let's look at the examples below. What you're really looking at is how did the left side of the equation, so this whole side, become the right side of the equation? Well, if you look, you see that water became H3O plus and HNO3 became NO3 minus. You're looking at who lost the proton, who gained the proton. So that means that H's from HNO3, I put an H plus there just for fun, just kind of shows it's moving over. This one donated, so it is the acid. Water accepted, so it is the base. Let's go down to the next one. We've got H2SO4 and water, H3O plus, so water gained a proton, and HSO4 minus. So according to this equation, H2SO4 gave one of its protons to the oxygen on water. So it is an acid while water is acting as the base. You may ask, why didn't it give both, like have two waters? Well, the answer to that is one of these hydrogens on this acid will come off completely. The other one sets up an equilibrium, so it gets very, very complicated. So we're just gonna kind of ignore that for right now. Let's look at this last one, HC2H3O2, and then it became C2H3O2 minus. So it must have given up its proton to water. So gave up its proton, which means it's the acid and the water is the base. These hydrogens are not the acidic hydrogens. Remember, we, the ones on the front are actually the acidic hydrogens. Also, you probably notice the difference in the arrows. This arrow right here means that this reaction is reversible. That means that it goes into what we call equilibrium, where it hits a certain point when it's made enough, C2H3O2 minus, that it stops making that and starts going back the other way. And when the rate of forming products, so rate of forming products is equal to the rate of forming reactants, it's said to be at equilibrium. You don't have to know that, but we're gonna see a few more things that are equilibrium related in this unit. So remember, acids are proton donors, bases are proton acceptors, and in this case, protons went from the acid to the oxygen on water, making water the base.